Good morning guys. Today I want to share a piece of information that you've never seen before in any other channels about the Tesla diagnostics, especially older ones, especially the ones that are dead completely. The broken BMS with bus bars, with the broken bad modules or cells or whatever as I'm doing right now. This is the car that I'm checking. This is the 2015 Tesla Model S that I'm checking. I'm checking the log. For log, you can connect locally or you can connect uh, remotely. I connect remotely. I, it's disconnected right now. But this car is not starting. It's not doing anything. And I was wondering what's going on. I can see the error codes here in the side and I can see it. If you put the car in service mode, I can see the codes too. But I don't know what's going on. I can see clearly here. There is a code here, BMS A008HVIL. If I look at the log data, there is three line here and there are dots. These dots, it shows you the exact time and date. If you point, if you bring your mouse on top of it, you can see the exact time and date it's happened. You can see in the left side. It happened at 011 2025 18, like six. The problem is here when you see drop. Okay, we have three line and the three line represent different things. You can see we have six line actually, two section. First one, BMS alert ID. Second one, BMS alert type, what kind of fault we have. Third one is the BMS 088. This is the code number 6HV, HW BMS blind mat. I was looking at this one. We have one, two, three. This is the, if you look at the left corner, you see 8.7, this is the voltage. This should be 12 volt. This is the HVIL. This is the safety. This is the interlock uh, circuit. It need to be 12 volt. It shows 8.7. It shows exactly the problem. It shows this connection is not seated something wrong going on with this connection it's corrosion or something something is not right that's why we don't have 12 volt that's why this gradually in this drop and gradually goes up this is the main problem and i see i don't have a software problem i have a hardware problem i have a connection problem this battery came out of the car and they installed it and after that they had this problem i have to attack i have to go and look at these data line data the two big pins and the big rapid split and see what's going on I hope this information helpful. I hope you can use it for your diagnostic, for your shop or whatever you do. It took a long time to figure out, you know, how I can use the toolbox without being able to connect to the car, do the diagnostic. Thank you.